today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a Scotch stand. The Scotch standing technique has some stretch in it, at least vertically. It's actually a stiff horizontally and stretchy on the vertical side. and welcome back to Miss Matti, the channel where I share all about how to live an awesome and sustainable life. In today's video, I'm going to share how to do the scotch darning technique. And if you wonder if why you would use the scotch darning technique over a too classic warp and weft darn, where you create the weaving effect by weaving yarn vertically and horizontally across each other. It's because it actually has a stretch on the vertical side, but it doesn't have a stretch on the horizontal side. And as such, you can use this to your advantage on areas where you need some stretch because the other darning technique doesn't have any stretch as well as this is a very strong repair and it's perfect to use on bigger holes. This video is part of a little mini series here on my channel where I go through all the different darning techniques on socks and knitwear. I already have up the what I call the warp and weft darn as well as the switch darning technique as well as a video where I go through all the like general points on darning which technique to pick, which mat materials or yarns or threads to use, as well as which tools I recommend. So if you're interested in that, go and check out those videos in the description down below. I'm also having a video on machine darning coming up. And if you do not want to miss that, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you will not miss it once it's live. And once it is live here, I will of course also link it down in the description down below, as well as in the cards up here as well. To make your scotch down, you will need yarn. For these socks, I use a gray sock yarn. Darning needle. If possible, select a short length needle for this technique. darning mushroom or embroidery hoop. However, this is optional. A pair of embroidery scissors is also really helpful. These pair of socks have several holes in them and I will repair all of them with the scotch darning technique. Thread your yarn needle with similar weight yarn. Put in your darning mushroom or whatever tool you use to help creating the right tension and then start with a back stitch. Do not make any knots, that will cause blisters, a back stitch is enough to secure the yarn here. Then use a running stitch and stitch from left to right above the area that needs to be darned. Then push the needle down into the stitch on the row below. Pull the yarn through to the left until you reach the end of the first row of running stitches. Once you've done that, it's time to create the first row. Make sure the needle goes over and under the running stitch and into the yarn which you just pulled through whilst holding the yarn tail to the left below the row of running stitches. Then pull the needle through over the yarn tail to create a looped stitch. Continue to hold the yarn tail to the left below the stitches and then push the needle over and under the running stitch to create a loop. Pull the yarn through and continue until the whole row is complete. Push the needle down into the stitch in the row below and pull the yarn from right to left again. Then stitch left to right, continuing to hold the yarn tail to the left and this time make sure the needle catches the loop which is created in the previous row as well as the yarn that you just pulled through underneath the stitches. Then pull through the yarn over the yarn tail held in place and a new looped stitch is created. Continue to hold the yarn in place to the left Hold the needle over the previous stitch and then pull through the loop as well as the row of the yarn to create another looped stitch. Continue in this manner and make sure not to pull the yarn too tight. 
Once your row is complete, push the needle down yet again into the stitch in the row below. Pull the yarn from the right to left and continue to create looped stitches as you did on the previous row. Repeat until the whole hole or worn out area is covered. And at the very end, make a back stitch to fasten the yarn, hide tails through the middle and cut off any excess threads. Your scotch down is now complete. So there you have it. This is how you do the scotch downing technique. If you like this video, do not forget to hit the like button. And if you like this video, you might also like to check out these videos over here. And until next time, bye!